you need this? Do you need this? Or will a synthetic redo? Hi guys! Today's video is a special request by you guys, the viewers. A while back in a haul, I noted that I purchased a Legere synthetic reed, meaning a plastic reed. I know, I know. And because so many of you were shocked, um, you have asked for a review of what I think about it. So let's get into some of the facts about how it's made and how much it costs, and then I'll give you the overall specs of what I love and maybe um, a few of the things that you might wanna watch out for. There are two types of the Legere Reed. There is the LBRM, which is just the medium, and then there is the LBRMH, which is the medium hard. Both of these are going to retail for about 135 US dollars. So they are a bit of an investment. Now these are different than any other plastic reed that I've played on in the past because they are not molded or they're not stamped. In essence, they are built in a layer of plastic, okay? So you have fibers built one on top of each other just like you would have if you had a piece of cane. Um, so cane grows very similarly that it grows out, um, in layers and so the synthetic reed is meant to mimic those layers just like you would have in a Rondo Donax. Now, even though it's plastic, you can still break this reed. Um, I have a friend of mine who lent it to her bassoon playing son as well. Uh, they're like a family of bassoonists and her son was flexing the tip um, like I show you in the Dark and the Reed video. Um, and as, of course, there's no reason to do this because it's a plastic reed, but he was still flexing the tip and it did crack down the center. Um, the plastic reeds can also chip just like a regular reed. So if you drop them, that is something that you do need to be careful of. Um, and because you can play on them for an extended amount of time, it is good to clean them out. But if you clean them out, oftentimes with a pipe cleaner, you can split the sides where it's sealed. And if you do that, it will no longer work. So there are some things to be careful of that you can still destroy this reed. The positives of this reed is that you do not have to scrape it. You do not have to soak it, but you can soak it if you like. Um, it's great for various traveling. Um, I know myself that I am traveling and I'm in one area where the weather is doing um, maybe thunderstorms here and then it's sunny somewhere else with no humidity. Um, so this is a great read for traveling. Quick tip is to make sure that you try several of these reads before you buy them. I actually tried about five of them with Miller Marketing at our JSU Double Read Day. I was lucky enough to have Justin here um, and I was able to go through several of them to figure out which one fit my bassoon best. Um, so there were some that I played that the intonation was quite flat. There were others that I was playing that were a little bit sharp and I did need to match it to my instrument. So um, they are not a one size fit all, even though they are mass produced, they are different. So if you are looking to buy one, make sure that you try several and you check the intonation on each one of them so that you get a match for your instrument. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that I have noticed since actually playing on the reed. Um, it's very slippery. It has a texture that is uh, very different from cane that I would normally play on. Um, even though it has a series of layers built into it, the uh, top is very smooth and I feel like I can slip around on it in a way that I've never felt before. Um, I've also noticed that uh, doing double tonguing at triple forte um, with hard accents with the tongue, it can actually hurt my tongue. I think that regular cane has a give to it that you hit hard with the tongue and be it's flexible and um, especially on the tip because the tip is so thin and here you're actually dealing with plastic so um, my tongue after doing and this was only a triple forte regular double tonguing not an issue but triple forte yeah my tongue hurt um, so large accented passages if I was doing a series for consecutive bars I, I might actually be concerned about it and switch reads I've noticed I can get really bright on these reeds, but I can also get very dark, almost a breathy sounding um, portion to the reed, which is fa fascinating that I can get so bright and so dark and it's still plastic. Um, I've noticed as I do look for the breathier, darker, woodsier sound, it does require more embouchure, uh, more embouchure than my finished reeds, and it can tire these muscles out in the face rather quickly. 
I haven't felt like I have as much dynamic contrast on this read. The uh, loud louds and the soft softs and some of the connectivity between notes just isn't as great as on my finished reads. But um, you know, for having a read that I can just throw on and play, especially in a case of an emergency, this is the go-to read. And for travel, it's just, it's great for travel as well. So um, this does get my seal of approval. Um, it would not be my go-to practice every day on read, but that being said, it is a trick that I like to have um, in my back pocket for emergencies. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment over whether or not you intend to purchase Legere Read. Um, I am not sponsored in any way. This is just a response to many of your comments. So I'd love to hear if you guys are actually considering buying one and your reasons why. Um, my reviews, sometimes when you guys review products as well, I love to watch them or uh, hear about them because you'll, you'll think of things that I haven't thought of and then I'm like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. So please do take a second and leave me a comment. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Now, by putting a binding on the read, I'm taking care of three aspects. First off, I'm making sure that the tube has a good seal on it and it doesn't leak. Oh, the office is howling. Oh, that was thunder. My rod and my staff, they comfort me. But they don't protect my computer from rain when I try to make it to my car. Uh, for me, I was lucky enough to have, oh, that is real thunder.